Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are conducting the series Particle Tracing for Fluid Flow and today we will be discussing about extraction of particle information after the simulation. In FPT, we basically solve for particle dynamics under a definite force field. A definite force field may be a combination of different forces acting on the particles and we solve for this particular scenario if you look at the equation which i have already talked about in particle tracing for fluid flow we basically solve for this particle dynamics equation where the inertia of the particle is equated with the total force acting on the particles and this ft can be a combination of several forces and you know you can actually add up your forces based on your physical scenario and this option release or release from data file there are multiple options to put up particles you can actually give the information about wh when exactly the particle will be coming in your solution space and how exactly it will come like we have taken an option of random particle origination that means uh, when the particles are coming it will actually come randomly so if you uh, simulate different time I mean multiple times you will be getting multiple coordinate combinations so this is the meaning of random you can regularize this particular thing by putting up this option I have already talked about so yeah release from data file you have option release from grid so you can actually explore those options so once we simulate this under a definite force field then with respect to time the positions of the particle vary now what if you want to track those particles the locations at different time you want to track then what you need to do is you need to extract the data file and then analyze it and today we will be talking about this particular thing so for the purpose of understanding i have taken a simple force field which is acting in the upward direction so once we simulate this is already simulated i guess yeah once again we are simulating so one force has been taken which is acting in the upward direction so the particle will start moving in the upward direction only so if you see as time progresses the particle is moving upward so this is only for the purpose of us getting a simulation now what I need is I need suppose at 0.3 second where are the particles located now if you go to at 0.4 second the particle positions are changing so you need coordinates with respect to time for that what you do you go to this option particle trajectories and then what we do is right click on it add data to export and then we click on browse so let us put it in my desktop and here I give it a name particle info and let us keep it as a csv file and I save it then I export it so after that if I go to downloads I can see there should be yeah particle info CSV so this is the particle information so you can see these are the coordinates X and Y so from here you can actually get the information of the particle so there are 50 particles if you see we have coordinates 50 coordinates if I paste here you can see it went up to this so you can also see here if you just scatter it you will see the particles so this is how the particles are scattered so this particular thing I have actually done for which time step I have done it for 0.4 so instead of that you can opt for 
other time scale say 0.7 and then if you extract it it will give you the information at 0.7 seconds so this is how you can actually extract the information of the particle locations and then you can actually post process it based on your I mean based on your requirement suppose you are solving a problem and you want to know at what time the particles are oriented I mean at different times how the particles are oriented then you can systematically get those data files and then you can have a trajectory of the particles and this will help you to get the information about the velocity vector and maybe some other information so yeah i guess this video was helpful and uh, we'll be continuing with the series there will be many videos coming in different series we are continuing with before i stop the video i would like to request you to subscribe to my channel because this will motivate us to make more videos. Thank you.